Welcome to a taste of the Media Library on the website of the Rhine Research Organization. More than 20 times a year, the Rhine brings in a noted speaker who's a scientist or a practitioner or a thinker about psychic functioning. This is a taste of the reality of Psy, a physicist proof of psychic abilities, a talk given in 2012 by physicist Russell Targ, one of the first people to conduct remote viewing research, in fact, the developer of remote viewing research in the United States. Let's have a listen. Well, thank you very much for that generous introduction. I'm very happy to be here at Duke University, which is really the home of American research in parapsychology. As you all know, it's the place where J.B. Ryan developed and proved the psychic functioning exists with his statistical research beginning 75 years ago, and where Louisa Ryan collected thousands of stories of people who had dreams, usually bad dreams, of things that were going to happen in the future, usually bad things. But she discovered that there were thousands thousands of people worldwide who are having dreams that they could recognize as precognitive pertaining to the future, and she then published these dreams. So between J.B. Ryan, who did the statistical analysis, showing that many, many students at this university had psychic abilities, and the great work of his wife, Louisa Ryan, demonstrated that psychic functioning manifested most frequently in our dreams. In fact, it was she who said that most people's first introduction to psychic abilities is through a precognitive dream, and my experience goes along with that. Now, 75 years later, uh, we're beginning to become very bold. We used to say things like, uh, there's evidence for psychic abilities, or uh, it should be looked at more, but after my own 40 years of research, I'm willing to say New, I just published a book called The Reality of ESP, A Physicist's Proof of Psychic Abilities. So that's a very bold thing. Physicist never says he proved anything. He said, well, the, the strong evidence, or I think it's likely, or the significance is something. But when we say we proved it, what we mean is the statistical evidence is overwhelming for the existence. There's no reasonable objection to what we've been doing. We may not entirely know how it works yet, but the evidence is overwhelming. So it's that evidence that I'm going to talk about this evening. For more of this lecture, join the Rhine Research Center by becoming a regular member or a sustaining member, and you will have access to all of the, the lectures from 2010 forward that have been placed into the Media Library. Come join us. Information is in the description. Bye now.